So the world is, is uh, a highly complex and interesting thing where the unexpected could always happen. In the case of something like global consciousness, it has been said that uh, if, if you take a purely materialistic point of view and you imagine that in order to get the level of awareness that we have, you need approximately 10 billion interacting units, little computers, say, that are very richly interconnected, maybe 100 billion interconnections. And then you say, okay, if that's what it takes in order for a system to become recursive enough in order to become self-aware, like the brain, well, are we approaching that now with the internet? And the answer is yes. Roughly 10 billion computers, perhaps 100 billion or more interconnections through the internet, will the, this electronic membrane, as Teilhard de Chardin called it, will that electronic membrane become aware in, by its own right? And I, I don't see why the answer would be, well, sure it would. So that's, that's from purely materialistic point of view. And there's a lot to be said for the neurosciences. A lot of it is actually really good stuff. So I'm not, I'm not dissing the neurosciences. But if it's something more than that as well, like if brain and mind are not completely identical, but the mind also has some kind of a, a wave-like distributed sense, then I think the likelihood of a global consciousness awakening is even much, much greater, much greater. So we have six billion or so people in the world. Each individual can be thought of as, uh, as a localized mind, but with some spreading out in space and time. And there is already some experimental evidence suggesting that there is something like a global mind reaction to large scale world events. So this is, I'm talking about the Global Consciousness Project, where we have over 200 events now, each one of which attracted a lot of attention around the world from humans. And we find changes then in the physical environment as a result of that attention. Changes that by any conventional theory shouldn't be there, and yet it is there. So at this point, we don't, I, I don't know whether there is a global mind or not, but I think that because we're beginning to find ways of testing empirically if it is there, and the evidence is suggesting that something strange is going on, then maybe the mind of Gaia is waking up. Or maybe the mind of Gaia has always been there, and we're, we're tiny little neurons in her brain, and we're figuring out something like, oh, you know what? There has always been a giant mind, and we've always been pulled along with it, but we weren't quite clever enough until just now to begin to get an inkling that maybe that was going on.